Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kahoot to create fun quiz games to play in your online or in-person classroom. I've done a couple of these over the years, but it's been a while since I made one and Kahoot's updated their interface again, so I thought I'd make a new video about it. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my demo account that I've set up. I'm going to create a Kahoot. And let's start by building one from scratch. I always find it's best to learn new tools by working from scratch. And so let's go ahead here and start by typing in my first question that's going to be in my quiz game. So let's just call this one Fun Facts. And our first fun fact will be where in the world is the world's largest bison statue? And I'm going to now upload an image. And I have an image that I want to use. And I'm going to leave it as just an original image here. These other image reveal options are premium options that Kahoot charges for. So we won't concern ourselves with those. Now let's add our answer choices. I'll put in a couple of choices here. Let's say South Dakota, North Dakota, Maine, or Disney World. Now let's make sure we indicate a correct response. And now we can put in our time limit for that game, or for that question within the game, I should say. You can see here, we can do 5, 10, 20 seconds. We can do up to 240 seconds if we wanted to. The default is 20 seconds. So let's leave it at that. Now, you can change the point value if you'd like. Zero points, 1,000 points, or 2,000 points for the question. And our students are going to make one single selection. Again, multi-select is a premium feature that Kahoot charges for access to. Let's add another question over here on the left-hand side. And again, the kind of questions that we have access to are the quiz or the true-false questions. All these other options here are paid features in Kahoot. So let's go and use the quiz option again. And this time I'm going to upload another image. And I'll add in this picture. And my question will be, what is the largest passenger jet in the world? I'll give some answer choices here. And there we have it. And again, we go with the default 1,000 points and that 20 second time limit. Now, let's add one last question. Look at it, true or false. And we can again upload an image. We can use the image library this time. Let's see what we find if I do a search for dad. You can see a lot of these here are premium options. So let's just go ahead and instead of using one of the premium options, let's go ahead and upload a picture. And in this case here, maybe I'll use this picture that I have. Yes, I love to tell the fun guy joke. And so there's our answer choices. Now, when we're all done with our quiz game, we can go ahead and preview it. We can see how that would appear to a student. And we can toggle backwards through those questions. And I'm going to exit my preview. So I'm happy with the way that those look. 
Now I'm ready to hit done. And if you want to test it out, let's go ahead and test this Kahoot. And so our students would play the game. We'll see how it looks. They're going to get their own game pin here. 890-8820. Students will enter that on their devices. They could be on their cell phones or tablets, in the web browser, on a desktop or laptop computer. The interface will look the same. Go ahead and play it this way. Student, and again, left-hand side, this is what the student sees. This is what the teacher sees. We'll start it up. And so what we're seeing here is what the student would see on your screen in front of the class. And this is what they see on their screen. As a teacher, I can then hit the next button. You see there's Bob, he got 683 points. Points are based on how quickly you answer correctly. And again, Bob sees the screen on my side here and over here makes the answer choice. So that's what the student sees on the left-hand side. And again, teacher's view is over here on the right-hand side. And there's the final results. Now, in this case here, there's no third place or second place because only one person was playing. So there it is. There's the winner. And it's Bob. So Bob did well. Now, as the teacher here, I can get the full report of how everyone did. And I'll go in there and I'll look at the report of how my entire class did on that particular game. Now, in this case here, I only have one player to worry about and it's Bob and I can see that he got 100%. But again, that's because that was my demo player. Now, if I want to play it in my classroom, I'll hit the play now button and we'll select the teach option if we want to do this, whether in our physical classroom or in our online classroom. When I do this in my online classroom today, as in just earlier today, October 5th, I hit the teach button and then I screen shared in Zoom my screen so that students can see the questions appearing and on their own devices, they could still answer the questions. So it looked just like this. We did the classic mode, and we let the players join in. So that's a short overview of how you can create and play your first Kahoot games. And you can see there, there's my game saved right in my account under My Kahoots. And so when you sign in and you see that home button, and you're looking where are my cahoots, go over here to the right hand side, you'll see my cahoots and you'll see yours there. And you can create a new one at any time as well. Now there's many other things you can do with Kahoot, but that's your guide to getting started making your first Kahoot game and playing your first Kahoot game as well. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.